Hey, what is up guys? It's Brendan here and today we're going to be going over the seven best QuickBooks alternatives. So let's just say maybe you've given Intuit QuickBooks a shot or maybe you're just like, ah, it's too expensive for me. I want to look for some sort of alternative. Maybe you just don't like QuickBooks, right? Maybe you just, maybe you have tried out, maybe you just don't like it and you want an alternative to QuickBooks. Well, that's what we're going to be diving in here in today's video, going through seven different options you have as alternatives to QuickBooks when it comes to accounting, small business accounting for your business and tracking your bookkeeping expenses income as well as invoicing as well taking a look at all of the different financial features that you may want out of a business software solution especially when it comes to small business accounting so without further ado let's go ahead and dive into the best quickbooks alternatives so at the number one spot Let's take a look at Zero. Now, this is Zero, although it is spelled X E R O, pronounced Zero, uh, but but it is spelled X E R O. So that's Zero uh, Accounting, and they are a great QuickBooks alternative. Probably the most popular accounting software after QuickBooks when it comes to different accounting software that you can have as well uh, when it comes to managing your small business finances. Now, Zero is really great. We're going to be taking a look at the pricing and different plans as well. Of course, the pricing uh, of all these different accounting software and solutions are accurate as of the making of today's video. All are subject to change, of course, uh, but Zero is really great. They have a ton of different integrations. I'd say up there with QuickBooks as far as the level of integrations with other different financial apps and software. You can connect with uh, HR platforms and payroll such as Gusto. You can connect with PayPal as well. So you can manage everything that you would want out of you know, zero, uh, you can connect to everything such as your bank connections. You can claim expenses, pay your bills directly through them as well. Uh, so zero is a great alternative solution. As you can see, they also have, you know, various total cash in cash out and managing, um, you know, your overall performance, your financial performance and your reporting. I would say that the reporting is maybe a little bit more limited in zero compared to a platform like QuickBooks. Um, but it is a good alternative. Uh, as far as the pricing, they also have, as you can see, they have a, like a little free trial plan uh, as well. Now, as far as the different um, features and plans, that's what we're going to be diving into here. So uh, when it comes to Zero's different pricing plans, of course, you have, you know, starting out at 12 per month and then they have 34 and then 65, uh, depending on what you need for your business. Uh, of course, as you can see here, you can still send invoices and quotes. There is uh, limitations, at least on the early plan. Um, of, as you can see here, the, the pr plan prices are changing pretty soon. So, of course, you know, check back, check out all these different platforms for yourself as far as, you know, the most accurate and up-to-date pricing. But these are the plans as they currently follow, at least as to what you could expect. As you can see, payroll is an optional add-on. Uh, and that's the same thing with QuickBooks as well as far as adding on like payroll. But payroll with Gusto is really, really nice. Gusto is a great platform and it has direct integrations with Xero, uh, which just makes when it has a direct integration, it just makes everything a lot easier when it comes to all the different SaaS and, and software products connecting uh, properly. It just having that direct add on really helps as far as keeping things nice and sleek and easy to manage. Now, uh, of course, you can enter your quotes and invoices. As I mentioned, you can have bills, reconcile your bank transactions, uh, capture bills and receipts, uh, bulk reconcile transactions, uh, short term cash flow and a business snapshot as well. Um, you know, if you want to do multiple currencies, track projects and other things, claiming expenses, you have to go for the ad ad advanced or established plan. Uh, but at least if you're just trying to track those uh, bank transactions, reconciling your transactions, it's a great way to do it within Zero. Of course, that is one of the main features they have as an accounting software solution. Now, as you can see here, plays nice with Gusto uh, for payroll. And Zero is really just sleek and pretty simple and easy to use in general. Uh, as far as what you may need from it, as far as like the data and how the dashboard uh, works as you can see here, you know, accepting payments, uh, payroll, bank reconciliation, uh, capturing data, files, reporting, inventory, sending invoices. I know a lot of you guys who are interested in the accounting software also want to be able to send invoices, so you can do that through them as well. Uh, quotes, sales tax, analytics, 
uh, as an accounting dashboard. I would say though, some of the reporting is, you know, to get the higher level reporting is a bit more expensive, of course, uh, depending on what plan you may want uh, to use. But of course you can try zero for free. So uh, if you want to give them a shot, then you can give them a shot. Now, moving in at the number two spot, we have Wave. Now, Wave is the really probably one of the best free options you have. Now, Wave is completely free for the base level. Uh, as you can see, we scroll down here and well, we're just going to go over to the pricing page. <laughs> so for Wave, uh, as you can see here, invoicing, accounting and banking is 100% free. So just for those three features, which primarily most people watching this video probably are just interested in the accounting and invoicing, although they do offer additional services at a charge. Uh, for payroll advisors or payments. And the thing is, most other accounting software is going to charge for those things anyway. So that's why Wave really is a great option for free accounting software. I mentioned it on the channel many times before. Uh, they really are one of the best options if you want to save money and do some accounting. Now, of course, the reporting and everything maybe isn't as great as something like Zero or even uh, QuickBooks, although you're looking at QuickBooks alternatives, but it is something to consider as far as the reporting and expectations. Uh, although it is really, really solid for a free platform. I've tried out Wave myself uh, and connecting things is pretty easy. It all automatically syncs. You can reconcile your transactions and you can also easily distinguish between personal and business expenses uh, as well as adding in multiple businesses as well if you would like to do that within Wave. Now, uh, you know, if you're familiar, you know, with the different platforms, Wave is a good option. You know, it's a good free option. Uh, it's definitely not the best necessarily overall, but I would say it is the best free option, of course, if you're looking to save money and you still want that level of automation and syncing that you get with a, a full like accounting software solution. You can still connect and automatically sync your ban bank transactions, which is something that you just don't get with like a Google Sheet or something, which we're going to be diving into a little bit later in this video. Um, but Wave is a great free option just because of the automa automatic syncing and automation tools that you can use utilize uh, for your accounting software when you're reconciling things. And yeah, I mean, <laughs> there's not much else to say. It's a good free option if you want to, you know, track your cash flow, income and expenses and manage your small business uh, while saving a bit of money as well. So that is, and they also do have the invoicing uh, as well. The invoices do look pretty nice. Uh, as well as the accounting is a good option uh, for a lot of people. So yeah, definitely take a look at Wave. And moving in at number three, we have FreshBooks. Now FreshBooks is also, I would say, most akin to QuickBooks as far as like all the different features they offer. Uh, they have a lot of different features and FreshBooks really is good for service-based businesses. Maybe if you're doing a lot of invoicing, I would say FreshBooks actually has some of the best invoicing um, software really when you compare it to all the different uh, accounting uh, software solutions. Uh, FreshBooks invoicing really is top tier when it comes to the different accounting platforms. So FreshBooks has that uh, built in directly as far as in their invoicing setup. You can really customize it, make recurring uh, online payments, you know, customizing the invoicing style, whether it be a template, a color, uh, the format, the font. You really have a lot more flexibility with a platform like FreshBooks. Now, of course, when it comes to the pricing, um, depending on when you're looking at this, of course. So they do have a, like a light, a basic version. They have a plus, a premium, uh, and custom pricing, of course, if you're more like enterprise level or if you need additional features like that. Uh, so that is something to consider. They do have pers uh, you know limited time discounting depending on when you're looking at this. Uh, but FreshBooks, uh, I would say, has pretty competitive pricing uh, as well. Really, a lot of the platforms, when you're looking at the paid platforms, are fairly similar in pricing, uh, depending on what type of features you want. Uh, you know, managing your expenses, your invoicing, and uh, income, uh, as well as the different I like apps wait, they have, whether you're on iOS or Android, you know, checking your data and your statistics right from, uh, your phone is really nice. Pretty much all the platforms have apps nowadays to, to be able to track things on the go, which is super nice. But yeah, if you're looking at something that has flexible and dynamic invoicing, 
in your accounting software, I would say FreshBooks. If, if invoicing is one of the most important features to you, then I would probably go with FreshBooks. Uh, if you're maybe, like I said, a service-based business, maybe if you're doing like lawn care or something like that, then FreshBooks would be a great option for you. Moving in at number four, we have a Zoho. So Zoho is once again, similar to uh, a FreshBooks or even sort of like a QuickBooks as far as offering a ton of different solutions. Uh, Zoho really offers probably the most dynamic amount of solutions and different apps built in as far as like their overall CRM platform. Uh, but they do have the specific section uh, for finance and Zoho if you're looking specifically just for, you know, Zoho books and accounting. So they do have free invoicing software uh, built into the Zoho books and Zoho finance section. Uh, so if you're looking at just doing that, of course, Zoho specifically within their Zoho books does have the accounting software. As you can see here, this is kind of like what the dashboard looks like. You can have your total receivables, payables, uh, as well, managing your cash flow, as well as your income and expenses, uh, per year, per quarter. They also have an, an app as well. So pretty easy integration and Zoho really does have a bunch of different other solutions. So if you're looking for something that has like inventory, CRM, mail, project management, uh, expense management, just if you're looking at trying to connect everything as far as like a full suite uh, for your business, maybe you're brand new, just starting out and you want kind of a, an all encompassing solution. Zoho is worth taking a look at. Um, they have a ton of different features within their software. Of course, as you can see here, they do have the free version for invoicing, um, which is pretty nice. If you're looking at saving money, then that's a free way to do invoicing as well. Uh, of course, they do have the different pricing plans depending on what you need, but taking a look at Zoho Books uh, is definitely worth it. They do have a lot of good integrations, as you can see here within Google Suite or G Suite. They also have Stripe, PayPal, uh, and like I mentioned as well, if you're doing the other Zoho products, such as their Zoho CRM, Zoho Analytics, you know, if you're already integrated into the Zoho family, then it makes sense to go with like Zoho Books just because everything is already synced there within their database. So yeah, and they have the on the go thing as well. So you could of course start the tr free trial to give things a test, but yeah, Zoho books definitely worth taking a look at. And moving in the next spot at number five, we have Sage. So Sage is an accounting solution as well. Uh, they have a really pretty sleek setup here, of course, for small business accounting, whether you're in like construction, for example, or real estate, uh, they do have industry, you know, focused specific software, depending on, you know, what type of industry that you're in, whether you're a mid-sized business, a small business or a larger business. Um, they have things and automation set up to specifically for the size business that you are. Of course, Sage Accounting, uh, as you can see here, different uh, business size levels, depending on what you may need. Uh, it is cloud accounting software for small businesses, first and foremost, of course, for their Sage Business Cloud. So it's definitely worth taking a look at is another option uh, is Sage. Now, of course, depending on what you need, their pricing, you know, may vary, of course, depending on if you need something small, mid or large. Uh, but Sage is another option worth taking a look at when it comes to your accounting. Uh, as you can see here, this is like what their little dashboard looks like. You know, all the different platforms really do have pretty solid uh, reporting and dashboards when it breaks down like little pie charts. As far as, you know, what's due, what's already come in, where things are coming from. You can also connect with HR software into Sage. So Sage does have, you know, quite a bit of other additional add-ons and solutions that you can add into your accounting software uh, for your small business. So depending on what you may need, you can also add on, you know, additional uh, functionality for your accounting software. So yeah, definitely worth taking a look at Sage it is another good option. It's probably one of the more expensive options, I guess, when you're comparing, you know, different different features, but you do get all the same types of things that you could expect with any of the other platforms. Of course, uh, as you can see here, pretty good discount that they currently offer, of course, but you know, just depends on what you may need specifically. Uh, if you just need entry level, actually pretty affordable with their entry level setup. They do have a free trial as well. Just, you know, creating and sending invoices, tracking uh, what you're owed and bank reconciliation uh, that you can automate and do. And of course they do also have their, their mobile apps as well. So Sage is another good option. It's probably gonna be really, a, I guess, more expensive than of course the free options. 
uh, that I already mentioned, but it would be a cheaper option than maybe something like Zoho or FreshBooks uh, or Zero or even you know QuickBooks like uh, at the top. So moving in at that number six spot, we have Google Sheets. Now, Google Sheets is not really directly an accounting software solution, but they are a free option d depending on what types of uh, templates that you create. It's really super flexible, super customizable. If you don't want to spend any money on accounting software, then you could still just manage all your uh, books with Google Sheets. Just make sure that you're tracking things correctly, uh, of course. And it is a little bit more of a manual process, exporting bank transactions, maybe copy pasting things. But if you don't have that much volume, if you're a pretty low volume business, tracking things with Google Sheets is super nice just because it's, it's you know, maybe a little bit more work but it's free to use and it's super customizable. So you can even connect this with Google's Data Studio, also now rebranded as Looker Studio, and create custom reports for your Google Sheets. Uh, or maybe if you're familiar uh, with building out the different reporting within Google Sheets, that you could do that as well. But there's just open and endless opportunities as far as how you want your reports to look within Google Sheets. And you don't have to pay any extra you know, to make those those sheets and to make those uh, specific reports that you may want for your business. So, you know, ultimately you could pair this together with another solution to get customized and more flexible reporting, depending on maybe you export your data from one of the other accounting solutions. You just import it here. Maybe you export your bank transactions and put it into Google Sheets. It really just depends. There are templates and, and different options out there as far as building out your, your financial reports specifically. Uh, and maybe if you build out templates to make things a little bit easier on yourself, the Google Sheets is a really good option for people who don't want to spend any kind of money on accounting solutions and looking just for free, cheap things to manage their small business accounting. And yeah, it is a good option. You know, personally have used it and other people that I know in the small business community use it as well. If you're low volume, pretty easy uh, and definitely worth giving a shot you know, if you don't want to pay for other solutions or if you just want to keep things nice and simple and keep it nice and custom as well. Moving in at number seven, last but not least, we have Oracle NetSuite. They have a cloud accounting software. Now, this is really more aimed at an enterprise level solution for people that need a bunch of enterprise level software realistically. This is not something maybe for beginners or basics, but if you need something more advanced, um, really high level solution that connects in and manages all your different, you know, business cloud accounting, then Oracle's NetSuite cloud for their accounting software is another, is a good option it is worth mentioning just because for people who need the enterprise level solution, then you could give a shot, you know, give it a shot and, and give it uh, worth trying out. Of course, uh, you have various different, you know, KPI meters and advanced specific KPI specifically depending on your data, more advanced ratios, you know, profitability ratios, inventory margins, uh, fixed assets, and just keeping things compliant as well. And just at a much higher level than most basic small businesses would need. Maybe if you're a more mid-sized, larger business, then this is a good option as an alternative to QuickBooks higher level solutions that they do offer maybe their advanced plans. So it's a good comparison there. As far as pricing, of course, is like, hey, contact us. We'll let you know how expensive it is. So it is more of a custom solution depending on what you need for your business and more as, you know, more as that enterprise level solution. So guys, I hope you found this video helpful as comparing the seven best QuickBooks alternatives. If you just don't like QuickBooks, you don't want to use it, then hopefully you found this video helpful and found maybe one of these solutions will help you get your accounting and bookkeeping straightened out for your business. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, be sure to smash that like button, hit the subscribe button as well, and notification bell so you're notified whenever I upload a new video. Anyway, guys, that's all for today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace out.